Fuck Get his arm down, please. Get his arm down. Do you want to carry on? Yeah. That yeah, was that. some yeah. round. Round 10 was one to remember, and Derek Chisari, after being dominated for virtually the whole round, came back with this barrage. That little right hand stopped him momentarily, but that was a very important punch for Fury, because had he not landed it, he might have been in even bigger trouble. But Chisora continued the assault. However, Fury was able to get through it. This maneuver, holding him and pushing down on the ropes, really worked for him. Don't Telling Fury not to panic as if they suspect that he might. He didn't look like it to me. <laughs> but it was so important that Chisora made him think that he dominated around, that he had him in trouble. Well, that reminded us that this fight will be in, in doubt for however many seconds it lasts. That if we, we could get to round 12 with 10 seconds left, and Derek Chisora would be dangerous. Chisora holding there. He's trying to fight in bursts, isn't he, Derek Chisora? Maybe aware that he doesn't have that much left. And it needs to be quality work when it comes. Fury's got to take advantage of that and dominate. Little slip there from Tyson Fury as he went back towards his own corner. Right foot almost went from underneath it. He doesn't look as steady as he might. And I don't know if I, if I was Fury, if I would switch to the left-handed style at this moment which he did momentarily. Two very, very brave and tired men here. Fury finding something from his reserves. Chisora again, suggesting that nothing hurt him. But you know the old rule is when a fighter does that, they have been hurt and they know they're in trouble. Right there from Fury. There's some tape on the glove of Chisora that should, in theory, cause this fight to be mo yeah. stopped momentarily, and it is. Might have been something wrong with your ears earlier in the fight, Al, but nothing wrong with your eyes. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Time for us all to take a breather. Gave uh, Chisora a little breather there, and he might have appreciated it more. Another scrappy one. And when you have scrappy rounds in fights, strange things can happen with the scoring, as we all know. And I know you still have Fury ahead, Al, but you just don't know, do you? No, it's obviously it's not official. The problem is Derek Chisora is throwing so few punches that it's going to be hard to give him some of these rounds. Even when he comes back with these bursts. Chisora just lumbering forward there. Lunging with his left hand. Fury and his followers will feel that they are so close here. 20 seconds to go in the penultimate round. It was a great right uppercut there from Fury. The interesting thing is Fury has fought Chisora's fight during big portions of it and still is ahead, Dave. We approach the end of the 11th. Fury is bullying the bully. Okay, last round. Everything you've learned in boxing, everything we've ever done, yeah? You understand what I'm saying? Chuck it at him, yeah? Okay? Are you listening to me? One round, brother. One round. Okay? Do you want this? Look over there again and I'll walk out of place. This is the biggest end of your life, Carson. Listen to your Keep him on the end of that. Keep him on the end of that sideways on. Don't let him come out of the hook at all. He's going to be right to drink. Don't let him show us. Final round and terrific occasion, excellent fight. Three words that might define the career and the life of Derek Chisora. One round, brother. That's what they said to him. You have to win it.
convincingly. You probably have to stop it. That was high drama in both corners. Yui uh, Fury also very adamant to get the attention and get Tyson Fury focused. Neither man has ever seen this 12th round, and they are both fatigued, and that means anything can happen. They have thrown so much at each other here. Tyson Fury, the challenger, and Derek Chisora, the champion here. It is turning into a vintage domestic night. This storied venue and a storied title. One more is going to be written here tonight. And I think what we thought coming into this fight is true. It doesn't matter if these men fight at a certain level where you think they're the best in the world. They would fight a fight that was entertaining and interesting, and that's exactly what they've done. Again, Fury just leaning on Chisora. Minute and a half left in the fight now. And the question Fury has dominated many of the rounds and is surely a big favourite to get the verdict here. Chisora, though, will fight right to the end. And the question you have to ask yourself is, does Derek Chisora have one more of those barrages left in him to land that big punch? And it's, a, it's now a time game with just a little over a minute left to go in this fight. Chisora surely has to find the stoppage, has to dredge up some strength from the bottom of his boots, from the depth of his heart. The fury is not for moving here. 40 seconds away, Tyson Fury from potentially a massive moment, the moment of his life so far. Smart strategy by Tyson Fury, pinning him in the corner and making sure that no punches can be landed there by Shazor. Fury finishing as the aggressor here. Shazor responds, risky from Fury. Ten seconds to go. And it's going to go to the judges' scorecards here. can disappoint big fights lately have but not this one it was fun to watch again Derek Chisora and this man Tyson Fury laid it on the line for you got it he is feeling tomorrow with your belts right now and why not it would appear that he won this fight and he did it in, interestingly, in some ways, by fighting Derek Chisora's fight, you know, battling on the inside with him and winning after being hurt very badly in round two and coming back. Well, we, we say winning, but of course we have to yeah, look at the judges' scorecards. How in the end did you score it out? The men that matter, by the way, Ian John Lewis, Phil Edwards, and Richie Davis. I gave Chisora uh, three rounds in this fight. I, you can make a case for four. I don't know if you can make a case for too many more. Yeah. For what it's worth, and it's not much when I'm sitting next to you, I gave him four. But there you go. I said you can make enough. a case for it. <laughs> hey, I'm not arguing. Wife <laughs> Paris down there, touching gloves, all of his fans touching gloves. He went to Canada and Austria to train, left his wife and baby Venezuela behind, young, young daughter, and uh, said it was a lonely existence, but I had to do the best I could. And he got himself in very good condition, and that ultimately probably was what carried him through in this fight. If ever you needed a lesson in cutting out the burgers, <laughs> the chips, all the junk food, it's the stamina that Tyson Fury has shown here. Did you think you'd see that scene, the way the lead-up to this fight had happened? So that's refreshing. Respect, finally. And soon, we're going to get the announcement, we're going to get the verdict. And still, we wait. 
Cesaro just never got going in a rhythm where he could land enough punches or the biggest one to get the job done. But, of course, we'll see what the official judging has to say about that. Yeah, what the uh, judges say is what matters. And the word, of course, that Tyson Fury wants to hear is new when the announcement is made. Is it going to be Ladies Fury's night? Here we go. After 12 hard fought rounds, we go to the scorecards. Judge Lewis has it 117, 112. Judge Edwards has it 117, 112. And Judge Richie Davis has it 118 to 111. For the new. Kizora's dreams turn to dust.